Washington State, and they were telling me about this kid that they brought in and uh, played freshman ball. And he had no offensive game at all, but a tremendously quick reaction and could block shots and rebound better than anybody he'd ever seen. Bill in his freshman year, he was something different than most uh, athletes. Uh, he determined to do something, and believe me, he did it. Hey, Ross Judas, he spent hours and hours with him, teach him a left hook, how to step off, and uh, Bill uh, even got a shot face, and that wasn't bad. You know, Bill Russell was also a track man. He uh, did the broad jump, high jump, and the hurdles. During the season, then I, I, I talked to Bill Russell about different things about basketball, and I said, well, what do you want out of basketball? And he says, I just want to be the best basketball player in the world. Somebody took a hook shot, and Russell went up in the air, and he go, poom, and he grabbed it with one hand. And he comes down and they didn't know what the heck to do, what to call. They never saw anybody jump that high and grab a ball and hold it. So you thought, sure, you got the shot off and it's going to whistle right by your ear. He's a perfect center for a press defense because he can play center field and you let your other four guys go after him. We pressed. And did we press? It was like a hot iron on you. Uh, when we would sick them, they did it naturally. Well, the press was the most important part of our defensive technique. Sometimes they got by him, and he, you know, flying down the middle, and there's Russell waiting for him. And Russell forced you to develop an outside shot. The USF had the toughest defense in the country. And we had Casey Jones and, uh, and Hal Perry harassing the guards. Of course, USF had players with great quickness and great jumping ability and great rebounding ability. When you played that team, the thing that scared me even more than Russell was Casey. I tell you, he's the greatest defender, you know, baseline to baseline that I'd ever seen. Mike Farmer later played pro ball was one very, very good basketball player, very good rebounder. Russell averaged 21 rebounds a game during our season in our league, and Farmer averaged like nine, I averaged six. So we weren't completely stiffs out there. Carl was small forward. He was an offensive-minded guy. He would take shots that other players would never dare, you know, never dare to take. He had a pretty advanced offensive game. Some people could say, looking at USF, well, it wasn't so much the coaching technique and philosophy as it was the players. Hal Perry was an interesting individual. He was like a coach on the floor, and he ran that team. And as a result, when Casey and I would go up court, we both knew what to do on defense and offense. Wilpert had no play design for Bill Russell, so Russell trusted the ball club to, to do their thing. The goaltending rules were not in existence at that time, and so we had at least the flexibility of doing things that other teams didn't even understand. And so Casey Jones or I would pass the ball right to the basket, and Russell would take it and dunk it, and there was nobody could stop him. That's how much of an imprint Bill Russell put on the opponent, and you just didn't forget it. Coach at Duquesne University said, USF's second string is the second best team in the country. We had guys like Warren Baxter, who could have started anywhere in the country. Gene Brown could have started anywhere in the country. Gene's a tremendous defensive, and I've heard guys from USF at scrimmages this and that. He's one guy I didn't like guarding me. He had good hands, He'd steal the ball, and you wouldn't even know he stole it. The Riders couldn't believe this team. I think the story should be told for several reasons. People who follow sports today don't really know what happened. We had guys who were so athletically inclined that you couldn't believe it. Nobody's seen people press like this, and for goodness sakes, nobody ever saw a guy play like Russell before. We changed basketball as it was played in that era. Mm -hmm.